And the sports media numbers here demonstrate Lopez doing extremely well, landing more punches and throwing more punches. Yeah, you look at the power punches. I mean, 205 to 97. That's a big disparity right there. And uh, those power punches was the telling. And almost all of those 97 for Marquez were, in fact, left hooks. Oh, yeah. So the possibility of winning a, a third weight division title will have to uh, be put on hold for Rafael Marquez. He wanted to join his brother Juan Manuel along with some other great uh, Mexican champions with that milestone. Let's go up into the ring. Jim Gray. Jim. All right, Steve. Thank you very much. Quite a collection of champions here in the ring. Rafael, first let's start with you. Ricardo Fernandez will interpret for us. What happened to your shoulder and when did it happen? Lo que pasa que ya este, venía lastimado y no quería, no quería otra vez este, cancelar la pelea. Vine a pelear y, y lástima que me jodí otra vez. You know, I was hurt. Before I came in, the shoulder had been hurt. Before I came into the fight, I didn't want to postpone it anymore. And I, I, I just felt like that. It was since camp. Did it affect the outcome of this fight? ¿Crees que obviamente el resultado hubiera sido diferente? No es lastimado. Claro que sí, ya no senté el hombro desde el tercer round. Me dolía el hombro, me duele, me dolía. Ya en el cuarto, en el quinto, me, ya no podía tirar golpes. You know, in the third round, I couldn't even throw punches anymore. I know it would have changed the result. Wama, did you able to detect? Were you able to detect that he had a problem with his shoulder? Sentiste que él estaba lastimado. No, realmente no. El todo el tiempo estuvo fuerte. Un gran peleador y no lo sentí, pero pero voy repito, un peleador muy fuerte, un gran gran peleador. No, I never, you know, I never even figured that he was so strong. Every time he hit me, he was a very strong guy. What happened to you in the fourth round? Were you almost? out of the fight in the fourth round. Cuarto round, ¿qué pasó cuando te conectó? No, un pelador fuerte, me dio un buen gancho de izquierda, realmente, no, me dio bien, un pelador muy fuerte, realmente que sí. Hey, that's going to happen when you're in a fight. You know, you got hit, I got hit, and it was tremendous hit. He's a big puncher. Did you let an opportunity get away, Rafael, in the fourth round to win this fight? Sententes que dejaste de ir a pelear allí, a lo mejor lo hubieras terminado. Sí, bueno, es un pelador fuerte igual, un campeón del mundo. Creo que fuerte, creo que, este... Damos todo, damos todo lo mejor, pero me estaba contragolpeando y este, me podía agarrar en cualquier momento. It was a, you know, it was a world champion, you know, you got, you got him hurt, they're going to come right back at you. But I, I, that's the way the fight was going to go, you know, he countered everything I did. Would he like a rematch, Rafael, and where Wama give him one? Me gustaría una revancha. Claro que sí, estamos pactando la, la revancha y me encantaría pelear otra vez con él. Es un gran peleador, peleador que pega y, y aguanta y creo que sería eh, factible hacer una, una revancha. I love it. I think, uh, you know, we show we're both strong guys. He's a real great champion. I think we enjoy fighting each other. Why not? Let's do it again. See? Yeah, yeah. Conmigo no había problema. Todo hablarlo con Bob y mi manejador. Y en Puerto Rico será una gran fecha en marzo. We have a great, uh, you know, we have a great following in Puerto Rico. Maybe we can do it in Puerto Rico if Bob wants to do it there. Bob, is this a possibility and would you consider this? Or is Gamboa going to be next? Uh, uh, of course. But he has to get his shoulder repaired first so that's number one number two he's gonna fight uh in first three months in puerto rico and then we hope to do a fight with gamboa sometime in june so that's the plan and we want to bring the his next fight to puerto rico we got such great champions from puerto rico. wilfredo gomez tito trinidad you know miguel cotto congratulations wama Bob, we send all of our condolences to you. We know it's been a very difficult month Thank on the passing of your son. That, Jim. Thank you. Okay, Steve, back to you. Jim.